Hello everyone, this is Jen and welcome to my channel. I'm here for a B6 share. I recently purchased a Second Chance uh, Chic Sparrow B6 notebook and I wanted to share it. I actually did an unboxing video, but I decided instead of just doing an unboxing video, I would go ahead and just show it um, already set up. So I'm using my Coco Daisy March Kit and I'm going to show you which, which uh, B6 I received. So I received the Outlander Verona. I don't know a lot about the um, about the different like uh, leathers and all that stuff. So, like I said, this is my first time. I did get a slim. Um, so, oh, it's a, yeah, it's a classic B6 slim. So, um, I noticed the books are poking out a little bit. I don't know. I've seen a few videos, but I don't know if the leather is going to stretch. Um, if you know more about these, please let me know. I need to look at more videos, but I will have to admit, I really do like this. Um, I like these, uh, covers and I, I want to get more because it's my first real leather cover and yes, I am happy with this. So, um, but to start off, uh, they also give these cute little die cuts and the little penguin in this right here, the little feather. So um, this charm right here came in the kit for the month of March with my Coco Daisy Planner Kit. So um, this last month, or I should say this month, it's February, I did some journaling, Bible journaling. I didn't do a lot. Um, I didn't fill up my book. I have blank spots uh, in my book, but I did a lot of the Reset Girls, the scriptures for the month. I did that. I was trying to do the self-care for that for the month, but as you can see, I have a bunch of pages uh, left over. I did like a stamping sample in the back. Uh, like I said, some journaling for my scriptures. So I decided for March, I wanted to actually prepare my book, my B6 book, and divide it up into sections. Instead of, if you've seen my past videos in my A5, usually that's where I set up and plan like certain things for like crafts and different things like that. But I decided to go ahead and put it inside of my B6 because in the future it would be fun to see what I was doing at the time. Um, the planners, A5 planner is good, but I wanted to try to put it into my March journal for, um, yeah, in my B6. So I will show you a so I decorated the front. Now the paper that's in the background, so this card came with the marked kit, but the paper in the background actually came in a 12 by 12 scrapbook kit. And it actually went really nice. And then I just, I have a lot of this glitter tape. So I just put some glitter tape on the side. And then I used the die cuts in the kit for the month and this is from the main kit. So I this month got the main kit, the add-on kit, which let me show you this beautiful pouch if you haven't seen it. Um, I had didn't do an unboxing because there's a lot of unboxings, but I did want to share this pouch because it's beautiful. I put my pins that um, match up with the colors for the month. So I've gone to these gel pins and I really like those for like journaling and all that stuff. Um, I added these colors. I didn't get the full like 14 set pens. I just got the six set. But I am going to go get some more of the pens. But I put it in this plastic. I was nervous that if my pens leak that it would leak into my bag. So I put it in plastic. And then I just put some the little uh, post-its from the month. And 
Also, I have the, I also got the mini, um, the mini book that they have for the month of March. So it's pretty much the same as all the bu books, but just a smaller version. So anyway, so that's what's in my little pouch. And then for this month, I put all my washi tape together. So um, the color is like these three are in my stash. These are the ones. The rest of these I got through Coco Daisy. Uh, a lot of these glitter ones I got from the uh, pocket page kit. And then this one is from the main kit. It's really cute. And this tape, which I really like, is from the add-on kit. And then I also have this. This is from the Atwell collection. So I figured also it's really thick. But if I wanted to use that, I could use that as well. Okay, so here we, in the add-on kit, we get a pocket, little, the little pockets this month. It's this size and then another size, which I'm gifting to somebody else. If you would like to see an unboxing of the, or if you would like to see the add-on kit, I do have an extra one. So, um, but yeah, but uh, here's the card and I just put little things in here from the add-on kit and the main kit. So this is the stickers. So what I did, I used, I actually mixed stickers because the colors actually went well together. So the colors that I didn't want to do on the main sheet, I, for the numbers, I just used here. So yeah, and then this cute little bookmark in there that to the side okay now for my book so I didn't do anything to the front and then here my first page the first two pages is going to be like my March goals and my self-care goals things for myself so I will fill that out for the month of March and then what I did I want to start doing daily journal so I went ahead, like I said, it added the numbers and the days of the week. I just flip through and then this tab I put up at the top. So I'm realizing I like the tabs better at the top than I do on the side. Usually I, in my planner, I put them on the side, but for this, I put them at the top. I really like that. So some pages I did add, like this sticker actually came from a different month kit but I thought it looked really cute with that so I kind of like I said mix, mix match the numbers for this month and previous months and because there's uh there wasn't any room for 31 I just split the 30 and 31 together okay so this page is where I added some of the glitter tape and also I used my, this is the Me and My Big Ideas sticker book. So like this clear stick right here came from there. And this is like, this is called But First God. So this is more of like religious stickers and everything. So I thought the colors just, a lot of the colors went so nicely with this month. So you'll see that throughout the book here. So this is the day that the Lord hath made rejoice. So these, this area is going to be like the memory keeping area. So if I want to put pictures or if I want to write notes, whatever, then I would put it here, but mainly for pictures. Cause I want a section for pictures. Here's another sticker um, that I used out of that same collection and also these stickers so this section I'm going to write scriptures down right here so probably the scriptures from the reset girl she had like a faith uh, based um, group and she has like four scriptures per month and you could dig deeper into them so I just want to write those scriptures down and then I have a section if I want to dig deeper into it then I would go to that section 
So here I added that washi tape and then this glitter, uh, the glitter tape right here. And then this sticker, I thought it just went so well here. Always be humble and kind. And it just goes well with the picture right here. So yeah, and I didn't want to put too much decorations because like I said, if I'm going to put pictures or whatever, then I would uh put them there. And so this area right here, I saw some inspiration. Uh, her name is Belinda Hearn on, uh, in the Facebook group. And she fussy cut out, like, it's beautiful. Like, she fussy cuts her, um, like, different pages and stuff. And she adds it to her, her um, I think it's a happy planner. Uh, Erin, sorry, Erin. Erin Condren Planner. So I decided I wanted to go for it because this page looked a little plain. So what I did is I printed off the free printable on the website and I just fussy cut this out. So this is fussy cut, this is fussy cut, and this as well. And then I put this sticker that's from the Me and My Big Ideas sticker book. And so this can also be for pictures. And here is, I have section for notes. So any type of notes, any type of thoughts, any type of whatever, I guess it's more like a brain dump type thing. So I wanted to add that. This sticker is actually from a Paige Evans line. Um, I cannot remember which one, but yeah. So that's where I got this from. Uh, if you want to know exactly which line, uh, just leave a comment below and then I can put it in the comment section. But I just thought that color looked so pretty right there, that little coffee cup or tea cup. So I put that there. And then I put another one here too because that just, to me, goes very well to the blue. And then this, I just added some washi tape. Here, these are die cuts out of the um, main kit. So I wanted it to kind of look even, <laughs> to even it out. So this side would look kind of like, you know, like a, not a mirror image, but just have the same type of um, images as this side. So I used the die cuts and I just put perfectly imperfect and beautiful inside and out. I just thought those quotes went really well for this page so then even if like I said if there's some things that I want to jot down jot it down there so then here I did um I created this is a page for our family bible study devotion so scriptures that I want to go over with my children or um well that's the main thing and just little things for my family and then I want to do a prayer list section because um, there's always people online I see like different things that people are going through and I sometimes just want to jot down their name and just say a prayer for them so that's the prayer list or if somebody says you know um, I'm in a Christian homeschool group so they may have like a prayer request so that's my page for uh, the prayer list and then this side, this is another sticker from the Me and My Big Ideas. So it says, by doing what you love, you inspire and awaken the hearts of others. So I thought um, that just went nice with this page. But this page is pretty much uh, for like what I'm watching for the month, what I'm reading, um, what I'm listening to, what I'm buying. So like I listen to podcasts and I usually don't write the podcast down, but I'm going to start writing the podcast that I'm writing, um, that I'm listening to and then crafty log. This is, so this page, I forgot. I, Oh, I think it's, Oh, it's right here. I fussy cut this out actually from a paper pad. Let me grab it. So this paper pad is so lovely, it's so beautiful, and there's so many pages. I actually um, gifted some pages as well to somebody else, but I just cut the image out, which I can do so many times, <laughs> and put it here because this was just a blank page. So I cut the image out and then put some die cuts from my main kit, 
and decorated that. So this was just the rest of the paper pad. So I just, this was for me to write some notes, but this is, it's so beautiful. Like I thought it was gonna be a uh, peacocked out, but <laughs> it's actually really pretty. So um, I didn't wanna like put too many peacocks in here and fussy cut them because I do want it to be functional. I can always add some later if I want, but I just thought it would be fun just to add more on the more blank pages. So, like I said, this is kind of a what I'm doing page. And what's nice about this, if I want to tip a page in to add more, I could just tip a page in to add more. Just like what I did here. Um, this is actually a personal size page and I just added it in here. And here I'm going to track my layouts. I was trying to do that in my planner, but right here it's um, easier for me. So now what I do is I just put the month. So for January, I put I did a total of two 12 by 12 layouts. I might have done more, but that's from what I remember. I Like I said, I didn't really start the tracking until last month. So I know the minimum I did was two. So for February, I've done seven. So what I'll do is I just put a dot every time. Um, I'm, this is like a, like kind of, <laughs> I, I'm trying to get more into bullet journaling. I don't have the concept down, but I figured this is something that I can do just to get started. So it's not like a technical technique. It's just something that I'm finding that I'm doing for now. And then every month, maybe I'll try a new technique, but that's how I want it to document how many layouts <clears throat> that I'm doing for the month. And here are my, I'm going to write my projects. So uh, even in my planner, I'll still like write when I have an assignment due or whatever, but here I can actually write the projects and the due dates and stuff like the preliminary, and then just write it inside of my actual planner once I plan it. So that's what that's for. And then, so this is for March layouts and on the bottom, like if I, these are for, and I need to put 12 by 12, but if I do like an eight by eight layout or something, then I'll put it down there. But my goal is I'm gonna try to do at least 150 layouts for the year, that's my goal. So yeah, and I think that is about it. And here's, oh, turn the page. Paige Evans, turn the page. That's where that other sticker came, the little teacup stickers is where they came from, and this one as well. So that's it for my setup. I am like really happy about it. I'm excited about it. If you, um, I'm probably gonna do an update with you on how this is going, but um, this month I didn't do a process video because I didn't know how I wanted to do it at first. But uh, I'm going to try this for at least a month or two. And if I like it, then I probably at least, then in, like I said, the next month or two, I can do a process video on this. So I've actually gone, um, I like my standard. I'm learning for my memory keeping, like full like memory keeping if I'm going on a trip. And I like my B6 for the journaling. So, and for, just so you know, if you're looking for the flaw, this is the flaw that they had for the second chance sale. So I guess it's like kind of like at the end of the leather, like stamp or whatever. So, but you know, for the price, uh, it was total like 50 something dollars. You can't beat it. Like I didn't want to spend like over a hundred dollars for a, uh, <laughs> a cover right now. I wanted to try it first, but I'm pleased with this, and like I said, um, let me know if you know about uh, if the leather will stretch or if I should get a wide, because right here, I'll just show you right quick, I do have a Planner Society one wide, and to me, it's a little too wide. I don't know. I guess I actually like the snug fit of this one, but... Is this going to be an issue? Um, just let me know. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a blessed weekend. And 
a wonderful week and I will be coming up soon with a basic, very simple A5 setup. So now that I've got everything set up here, my A5 is going to be a lot simpler. So I hope you guys have a blessed day. Bye.